off. I got some random facts. Let's put all Good, man. Out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, let's go. I was only going to save these for a rainy day. It's not okay, well, I got some more things to talk about. No it's always about women, though, okay? I've got to move on here. All right. Biggest prick boss on the f fucking face of the planet right here. This guy. You know how when you have a company going, you've got, like, these employees that are working for you for years and years. You're like, the pay goes up. You're supposed to, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People are making a lot, and then all of a sudden, I'm saying, holy fuck. Like, I could probably replace these people. So instead of doing that, Buddy takes the whole company and moves it from the city to a fucking remote mountain where there's, like, nothing. <laughs> and almost all the employees quit because they're like, there's nothing to do out here. Oh, so he, he, he moved the company out to the fucking mountains. So, wow. that, so that they would quit. So they would quit. And it worked. And then he hired new people? Or? And he hired new people. Oh, I didn't geez. get for that much that far into the story, but, uh, yeah. Hmm. You think he hmm. could be out in the mountains by himself, actually. That's riveting. It's riveting. Yeah, that's a good piece of Hey, that's all I got, guys. Do you know there's no fucking mosquitoes in Iceland? Yeah. I might have to move there. I fucking hate mosquitoes. I know they do, Ricky, man. especially when one gets around your ear. I don't think they have spiders either. I hate it when you're laying in bed and it's like, it's like fuck! You're fucking smacking your ears and then your ears start ringing. And... That's half the problem, Ricky. You smack yourself too hard. Because I want to just fucking, I want them to evaporate when they get hit by me. <laughs> Do you know that more people have been killed by cows other than sharks? Did not know that. What? More people have been killed by cows than sharks. How? Fucking ferocious, man. They trample them or they eat them? I don't really know. Back up in them. Fall over on them. Then sharks. Poisonous. Well, I guess milk. people don't come in contact with sharks as much as cows. But how does a cow kill a person? It's all the it's above. Awesome. We just said. Cows don't have fucking claws. <laughs> they can walk them. They run. They don't fucking stop that fast. So if they're running at you. With their antlers? Yeah, that, that's it's not a cow. It's a bull. Anyway. I don't think, that, I don't know how that could, oh, I bet you they're talking about with their farts. They're using the fact of methane. That kills people. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. That's quite a power. Fart could kill someone. That's quite a bit of power. Although I've had some gas sometimes that probably would have killed people. <laughs> An old person that was clinging to life wouldn't have made it through some of those. Oh, this is my favorite one, I think. The, the male orb weaver spider has a detachable penis. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do with it? Just leaves it at home while he goes shopping? <laughs> What the fuck does he... Why does he detach it? I'm just going to take this off and throw up in the web for a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to go... Uh... No, because if he's getting busy, he can just leave it there doing its thing, and then he can go take care of his paperwork, come back and finish. No, man. If he's getting busy with it, it's got to be attached to him. I don't think it does. If it's detached... No, it's like a... So another spider's going to be taking this thing, going, oh, they're going to know what to do with it. Just No, because if he... <laughs> Why, if yeah, he's why, from behind, she's not even going to know he left. Like, do they switch pieces with each other just to try different ones, I wonder? Hey, my he eyes going to take a piss, but his, his unit's back inside of Mrs. Well, then he's, he's just going to piss out his, out his fucking... The hole. The hole. If our units were detachable, would you guys... Swap, oh, I have mine off all the time. Just swapping around with anybody else? Try different you ones? take it off to polish it, you know. That's a good question. What happens if there's, like, a bunch of these spiders and there's, like, detached dicks everywhere? You don't like, know what you're going with yeah, yours. Yeah, all of a sudden, like, yeah. Oh, no, wearing, no, mine was bigger than this. Everyone wearing the same shoes. The fucking birdie. Ronnie's. Fucked. I got Ronnie Big Nuts nuts here. and they're like, Be, my, de my wiener was much bigger than this an hour ago. Oh, you know some, one of the spiders would be taking the biggest one. Absolutely. Why wouldn't he? I don't know. Detachable. I mean, would it be? I guess it's for for yeah, polishing but, too. But right? I don't understand the whole plumbing thing. Yeah, like how's it attach and detach? How do they know? Quick lock. I mean, you got quite a bit of fucking. It's got a quick shit. lock of some sort. It would have to. 
Yeah, but all. Uh, and then like a little wait, button to release it, man. Probably a release button. I would think. There's a lot of fucking weird. We got to. Uh, we need to talk to an expert. Yeah, you got to find out how they do it. And could you? you know, we, there's got to be video. Could you install the yeah. same sort of mounting system on yourself? Imagine the person that discovered it. They'd be what? Watching the spider under a microscope going, fucking thing just took his penis off. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how they discovered that. You'd have to, you'd definitely have to be studying spider cocks to know. And someone would be like, no, there's no way. Yeah, come here, I'll show you. What? And they're like, holy fuck, he did. He just took it off. And then he put it back on. Here's another, what does, here's a question. What does a spider cock look like? Ask Spider-Man. Well, how are you, like, looking at it saying, that's his cock? You beat off to Spider-Man, you tell me. Well, they must have seen it get put into a female at some point, I guess, and that's how they knew. Yeah, they, they would know spiders. what it's for once he starts drilling it, you know, drilling it into other spiders. They're gonna know, okay, we figured out what that part, that is not his leg. <laughs> well, I mean, it could be. I wonder if, yeah, do spiders pass to be? They got it, man. They got way too many legs not to. They could be Imagine fucking... Get any legs on it at once. Multitasking. <laughs> they could be like wrapping up a fucking moth with some You silk. think he's going to do it with all eight legs at once? Yeah. You'd think he'd probably try it at some point. Well, it's time. That would possible. be... So clearly you've tried both hands. Uh, yes. You guys have it? Am I weird? That's called the pepper grinder. <laughs> That move's called the pepper grinder, Reggie. The feet? No, the two hands, you know. Oh, oh okay. Puffs, man. Well, I'm just grinding know, pepper into your drink. Look. Grinder over there, man. Look at that. Pepper grinder. Let's see who got born on the 19th. Edgar Allan Poe. We can read Wicked. Some, we can read some po poems. Not today. Keep going. Uh, Nicholas Collis, it was played coach on Cheers. He was a good, good guy. Oh, I like coach. Good, yeah, he was a good drinker. He was a good, well, he was a good actor is what he was. He played the best, one of the best dumb guys. Owsley Stanley III, American audio engineer and LSD cook who worked for the Grateful Dead. Fuck. Okay. I like to have met that guy. Fucking right. Yes, sir. LSD cook. Phil Everly from the Everly Brothers. Everly Brothers, Brothers yeah. Love the Everly Brothers. Wake up, little Susie. Wake up, little Susie. Wake up. Janice Joplin. Me and Bobby McGee. Yeah. Yeah. Janice. Dolly fucking Parton got born. Joel Dolly. fucking lean. Have you seen her? The She's amazing. She actually, speaking of you wanting to date older women, but totally at the top throw of my list. list. Dolly is lucky. She's, She's incredible, man. What a lady. America's favorite, man. Oh. Roderick Rod Evans, founding member of Deep Purple. Fuck, we could crank some music tonight. Yeah. Robert Palmer. Robert Palmer. He's simply irresistible. He is simply irresistible. He made some nice music said, videos, too. Desi Arnaz. Desi Arnaz! Katie Seagal, Seagal, I loved her. Steven Seagal's wife? No, no, she was married with children. She was oh. the Sons of Anarchy. She's fucking great. Mm. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Who shit themselves? Not me, I mean, but I need to. Not me, but I need to. All right. You go do your business. Let's go do something. I'm going to refill the popcorn box. Thank you, man. I'm starving. Are we giving her again tonight? Or are we trying to chill out? What are you no, fucking... No, we're right. You got one going. It's Friday night. I know, but it's... Semi dry Janet. Friday night's alright for fighting. Friday night's alright, alright, alright. I thought semi dry January would be harder than it is. Semi dry. Well, we haven't been drinking Monday, Tuesdays. Well, yes, uh, you have. Okay, no, not, much. not all of them. Not much, the exact same amount <laughs> hmm. that you always do. Well, it could be way crazier. All right, well, cheers, know, everybody. On Tuesday, we were going to, we said, let's have one more drink. And then we said, you know what? Maybe we won't. We didn't. Turn into another court. All right, well, right. something. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, motherfuckers. Happy semi-dry January. Hope it uh, treating you well.